Hello and welcome to the Jurassic Report. I'm Zach and in today's video we're going to be talking about the very strong possibility that Jurassic World Evolution is going to get 1993 Jurassic Park DLC. This is something that a lot of the fans of Evolution have been asking for and requesting for quite some time. Having the buildings be redesigned for that Jurassic Park era look and feel, have the dinosaurs have new textures that correlate to the first film the way that they looked in the first film. This is something a lot of fans have been wanting and this is definitely a very exciting DLC that the possibility of which is continuing to look like it's going to get stronger and stronger. So this was discovered by a user that on Reddit that goes by the handle they are legit lit who found reference to 93 DLC in the game files for Jurassic World Evolution. This does back up a leak that was revealed on 4chan earlier this year that talked about Frontier's extended roadmap. The Frontier Development's roadmap leak has so far proven to be pretty accurate. It did correctly predict a Ghostbusters pack for Planet Coaster. On the Jurassic World Evolution side, it did 100% correctly predict the Carnivore pack. It did predict a Claire Deering DLC they said July in the leak, this actually ended up coming out in June, but outside of that, everything else that it predicted was 100% correct about the Claire Sanctuary DLC. Uh, it predicted a safari truck ride, pa paleobotany, and it mentioned that we were going to get three dinosaurs, Albertosaurus, a rhinosaurus, and another. So they didn't know the other dinosaur, but the dinosaurs that it did list, we did end up getting, and it said that the theme of this DLC will be to move the dinosaurs or to save the dinosaurs from Nublar to the Sanctuary Island. Uh, so, so far, everything has been spot on. And further down in the new project section, they correctly predicted Planet Zoo. Uh, this was stated in the league to be releasing in October. It actually, right now, is scheduled to be releasing in November. So, for the most part, everything about the leak has been proven accurate with the exception of like dates. So the content of the DLC or the content of the games has thus far proven to be accurate. It's just the dates, like it predicted the Claire Deering DLC in July and the Planet Zoo release in October. So those kind of, one went up a month and one went back a month. But so far the content of, this, uh, of the leak itself has been proven to be pretty accurate. Now that brings us back to the Jurassic Park 1993 DLC that is detailed in the roadmap leak. Now that we're discovering game files inside of Jurassic World Evolution that are referencing 93 DLC, it looks like this prediction in the leak is becoming more and more likely. So that's super exciting. The leak is predicting a December release date, but one thing to keep in mind is the biggest thing that has been flawed with this leak has been release dates. And in the world of game development, release dates and targets are something that is fluid. Games sometimes get delayed, especially DLC, which is even less set in stone than the game launch itself, which has a lot of other things kind of uh, in correlation to a big game launch. It's not uncommon for games to get pushed back or DLC to be pushed back. But with that being said, it is predicted to be releasing in December with both Nublar and Sorna. So of course that is indicating another new map with Nublar and Sorna, hopefully themed with like buildings and everything along those lines with the Jurassic Park styling, like the classic visitor center and things along those lines. But we really don't know much at all. It does mention that we're going to get a classic Jeep ride and the missions will be to get Jurassic Park back online. It doesn't mention any new dinosaurs in this pack, but that is likely. And also just going back on what Frontier has done so far with Jurassic World Evolution DLC, and now this isn't mentioned in the leak at all, but this is just a prediction that I'm doing. Uh, so far they have released a dinosaur pack, then a bigger DLC. So we originally got the Cretaceous dinosaur pack, then we got Seekers of Dr. Wu, then we got the Carnivore dinosaur pack, then we got Clear Sanctuary. So with a big gap, uh, what is it, five months between now and the potential release of the 1993 Jurassic Park DLC, it is possible that we'll get another dinosaur pack in between this and the big 1993 DLC. It's also possible that that DLC is gonna be a bigger, more expensive one possibly. So we might not get a dinosaur pack in between here and uh, in between now and that potential release date. So definitely something to be excited about. Do always keep this with a grain of salt because it is a leak. 
Frontier hasn't said anything at all about this. As far as I'm aware of, they haven't even hinted at it. Uh, but it is definitely something to be excited about if you're a fan of Jurassic Park and have wanted to recreate the original style in Jurassic World Evolution. This brings us to the final portion of today's video, and that is new projects that Frontier Developments is working on. Now that this leak has been getting more and more credibility and has been getting things right more and more, it looks like these new projects are going to be more and more likely. The first of which, and there are two Jurassic World games that Frontier Developments may be working on. The first of which is Jurassic World Evolution 2. This really isn't a surprise. This is predicted to release in 2021, more than likely in the June timeframe to coincide with the release of Jurassic World 2. They, in the leak it states that, quote, we can't fix Jurassic World Evolution, so we are going to make a new one, end quote. And I think what that is referenced to is requests that the fans have made like for example, aquatic enclosures and bigger islands. Those are both things that I think developers have commented on and I'm a little fuzzy on this because I was reading all this quite some time ago, but those are big limitations of the game engine and are not easy fixes at all without rewriting entire portions of the game from what I gathered a while ago. So I think that's what they're referencing, having bigger islands and having aquatic enclosures. Now that's purely conjecture based upon their statement, um, but Definitely something to possibly be excited about. And this one really isn't a surprise. The last I heard, Jurassic World Evolution had sold over 2 million copies and was one of the biggest, or if not the biggest game that Frontier Developments had ever made. So that really isn't a super surprise that they'll want to make a sequel to capitalize on the release of Jurassic World 2 or 3, sorry. Uh, so definitely cool though, because if we could get like aquatic enclosures and things along those lines, that would be super exciting. Now the next one is though, is something that is definitely near and dear to me and that is Jurassic World Survival. So this is something I have been wanting since I played Trespasser many, many years ago, a more modern approach to that. And we almost got that or we were getting a lot of details on Jurassic Park Survival, which was in the Jurassic Park 3 era of games. And there were some screenshots that were released that looked very promising. Of course, there was no real gameplay shown but the screenshots themselves looked very interesting, at least that it would be a fun game, but uh, in the end, that game was canceled. So we know absolutely nothing about this beyond the title, but having a first person or even a third person survival game in the Jurassic World universe would be awesome. It definitely would be something that I know a lot of fans would be very excited about. Now, it does say not much info is on this at the moment, so this could be something that they're maybe just in the early talks with Universal about possibly making, they might just be doing like concept art at this point in time, because this is supposed to be an extended roadmap for the next five or so years. So do keep that in mind. That might be a project that might not even be officially announced for many, many years. It might not even officially be announced until after Jurassic World Evolution 2 comes out if it does end up coming out. So that being said, definitely some things to be excited from from Frontier Developments with the more and more likely reality that we're going to be getting 1993 DLC before the end of the year and also possibly two new projects from them sometime in the future. So that concludes today's video. Thanks everybody for watching this video. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a existing subscriber, please consider if you want more videos like this to hit that subscribe button and also tap that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I release new videos in the future. Once again, thanks for watching everybody and until next time, Zach out.